me Kay Lindsay here back with another video and today I am bringing you the long awaited Amreezy palette tutorial. I got this palette when it first launched inside of Sephora and I just now used it so I'm so sorry but you know your girl has to come up here and do a review on this palette. Oh my god like I feel like this is full circle honestly because let me show y'all. I have the original OG Amreezy palette. Like this literally was my first eyeshadow palette from Anastasia. I was working at Ulta and this palette came out and I went to Ulta on my day off and I bought it just like I'm on my day off. I went to Sephora and bought it but I went to Ulta, bought it like this is the OG like look at that. So. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't seen her OG palette, this is her previous one. It has one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. She went from a 10 pan palette to a huge, huge, one, two, she went from a 10 pan palette to a whole, um, 16 pan palette. Sorry, y'all had a, your girl had a moment, sorry. But... Um, yeah, like, let me give y'all a close-up of the palette. But this palette does retail for, I believe, about $49. I'm not quite sure. But she is a little bit pricier than her other Anastasia palettes. You get extra shades in the palette, which makes it very, very big. Um, I love the packaging of this palette. It's like a glitter let me bring it back here so y'all can see it. It's like a glitter, which is really, really pretty. Um, it also matches the box, which I have over here, but it matches the box as well. This nice, cute pink color. If you want to see my pink and purple black cut crease with the pop of blue, because your girl just had to use the blue. Like, I had to use the blue. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have you guys really close because we're going to focus on the eyes on this video because that's the main thing right now. So to prime my eyes, I was going to use the Anastasia Eye Primer, but I decided not to because when I swatch these in stores, I like the way it looked on my skin tone. So I'm just going to use a concealer. Um, I'm using the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I like using this when I prime my eyes for shadow because it dries down really nice and it doesn't really crease on my lids so my shadows don't really crease underneath either. Let me get y'all a little bit closer though. Yep, brows and primer done. So now we're going to go in with the start of the show. Um, I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do. But a lot of looks I've seen were kind of on the safe side, and your girls don't really be on the safe side. So I'm going to put some tape because I might do a cut crease, and I kind of want a sharp, sharp edge. So I know you're not supposed to wear tape, but so I'm going to take BK, which is right here. And I'm going to pat that into my crease area. I'm gonna take the color you go which looks like a it's like a plummy brown I'm gonna go ahead and blend the edges out of BK So now my last transitional shade, I'm going to take the color Sesma, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's like this mauve color right here. 
and I'm gonna blend that Yugo color out. That's what we have thus far. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Garnier Micellar Water and a Q-tip and just clean up my eye area so I can cut the crease a little bit easily. Okay, so now I'm gonna officially cut my crease. And to cut my crease, I am using the Anastasia Eye Primer mixed with my Huda Beauty Concealer. And with the color Simsa, and I'm just going to blend that on the outer part of the cut. Simsima. Now I'm kind of torn between taking Barb, which is right here. I'm torn between taking Barb, ooh, focus, Barb or Cupcake or Resi. I think I'm going to do Barb on my inner portion of my eye, and then I'm going to take Cupcake and blend it in with that. I think that's what we're going to do. Is honey. Mm. Back in with Simsa. I'm going to deepen it up a little bit and blend it into cupcake. I am going to go back in with a little bit of Yugo and BK and put it at the tip of this eye. So just a nice mix. Just to finish it off. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with the Anastasia Liquid Eyeliner. So I went ahead and finished off the eyes. Lashes, I just used my Kiss lashes that I got from Walmart um, with a Sephora lash in the style Fringe, which gives me a lash like this. But this is the eye, look at her. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the face. I'm not gonna do my full face on this video, I'll just link down below i'll list down below everything that i use but for foundation i'm just gonna go ahead and use the anastasia um foundation shade 510 warm i've only used this once i don't really know if it's my true color but i'm gonna make it work but you'll see when i come back with majority of this face though i just needed to come back and tell y'all that this foundation is a perfect match 510 warm i was so iffy because it looks so light like, I don't know, I was iffy, but she is perfect.
perfect like oh and I usually put a powder on top of my foundation but your girl not gonna do that today we're not gonna do that but I just had to come and show y'all the foundation um Anastasia foundation like sorry let me go back and finish the face face done I'm just gonna go ahead with the Anastasia translucent setting powder and set my smile lines because I crease like crazy there and I don't got time um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Lancome face powder and just dust it around the perimeters of my highlighted area. I really, really wanna incorporate this Leo color, which is this blue. So I'm gonna take this eyeliner that I bought. It's by LA Girl. It's the Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade electric so it looks like this I'm gonna go ahead and take this eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and place this on my waterline ooh, I'm, ooh, I'm hype I'm so hype okay so Going in with an Anastasia brush that came with one of the palettes, I'm going to take this shade Leo right here and we're going to smudge this bad boy in our lower lash line. This blue nice. This blue was this blue was the perfect, perfect touch. Um, I don't want to do a contour, I want to do like a nice soft bronze. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia bronzer in the shade mahogany, which looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face. I am taking it back. If you're like an OG Anastasia um person, you already know what this highlighter is gonna be. I wish she still sold it. This is her pressed um, illuminators that she came out with a while, a while, a couple years ago. I'm going to use the shade Peach Nectar. I remember when this came out and I was on the hunt for this. Why is it? Not too much though. For blush, I'm keeping up with the Anastasia train. I'm going in with one of her blush trios in the shade Pool Party. Camera is not doing it justice. It's making it all look blah and flat. But I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Blank and Pageant and mix them two together and have like a nice flush of color. Like I'm telling you, I want to keep this pink train alive. So... gonna go ahead and spray my face I'm using my Too Faced Hangover RX uh, mist for my lips I'm going in with 
the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Grim. So I'm gonna get with the Anastasia gloss in Sunset Strip, which is like a, a pinky orangey color. I'm gonna place that on top and it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is really nice. So this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You've watched the whole video, so you must like my content. You must like these vibes. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, please. I am so excited with the way this look came out. This look came out so nice. Check out my previous videos if you have not already. I will link one of them in the cards up above so you don't have to go too far. Let me know what you think down below. Follow all my social media sites. They will be listed down below in the description box. And also, um, all the products that I've used that I did not mention in this video will also be down below in the description box as well. So, I'm not going over here. I'm about to go take some pictures, post to the gram. So, follow me on the gram. But, ooh. Till next time, y'all.